Hi again. Um, today we're going to evaluate the three rig ratios, the sine, cosine, and uh, tangent. And so we will use um, Sokatawa. So, so, ka, toa to do so. So, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Some of you will be using x, y, and, uh, and the radius. That's fine as well, but uh, I just stick to so katawa myself. Okay, so if I'm doing this question right here and they're asking me to find the three reg ratio, trig ratios of this point right here. The first thing I have to do is bring up a vertical with the x-axis. Never do it this way with the y-axis. It's always with the x-axis. Now I know the x value is negative 1 and the y value is negative root 3. So I could only find the tan because this is theta right here. Uh, with the given information. So what's missing is the hypotenuse. So to find the hypotenuse, basically use Pythagoras. Um, I mean, you know, I'm just gonna write a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and therefore it's negative one squared plus negative root three squared. You don't even need the negative because when you square them, they become positive anyways. Equals c squared. Um, that's one plus square square of root three, just three. Um, equals c squared four. Uh, equals c squared c equals two so this is two um once you have all of this information then basically just now you could just your sine theta would be opposite over hypotenuse so it's negative root three over two cosine theta will be adjacent over hypotenuse so negative one half and tan theta is negative root three over negative one opposite over adjacent, which gives me just positive root three. And if you go back to all the students, take calculus, just prove to you that only the tan here is positive, sine and cos are negative. Um, if you haven't watched my last lesson, that is approved of what we were doing last time. Yeah, um, question B um, is a little bit different. So um, what's happening here, if theta is in standard position um, uh, um, and the given point, yeah, just give me one second here, I'm just gonna um, take care of this and the given standard position and uh, uh, and the given point is on the terminal R, uh, terminal side of theta. Find the three reg ratios. So here it's question similar to this, but you just have to um, to graph your point. And I think uh, the point that was given to us here is negative two root three and two. So um, um, part of this question here is the point um, negative two root three and two. So that's the point that oh, they want us to find that three reg ratios for. Um, so what you need to do here, basically just the first thing you need to do is graph, graph this. So to graph this, um, draw your X axis, Y axis, um, and then that's negative, the X is negative, the Y is positive, so your point should be somewhere in here. So I'm just gonna, oops, just gonna go in there and, uh, um, oops. There we go. Um, so this point here is negative two root three and two. It's the x-axis, this is the y-axis. I'm just gonna uh, drop a vertical from here. Always with the x-axis, never make it with the y-axis. Now I know the x is negative two root three and the y is two. Um, this is your theta. 
I'm missing the hypotenuse. So again, we go to a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that's basically um, negative two root three, um, negative two root three squared plus two squared equals c squared. Um, if you square this, that's a four, and square root of three squared is three, four times three is 12, plus two squared is four, equals c squared. Now that's 16, equals c squared, c equals four. Um, always know that the hypotenuse is always positive, eh? or the radius is always positive. Um, now, after you found all of these, then you could just go and list all your trig ratio sine theta, cos theta, tan theta. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so two over four, which reduces to one half. Cosine theta will be um, adjacent over hypotenuse, so negative two root three over four, which reduces to negative root three over two. And tan theta um, equals opposite over adjacent, so two over negative two root three. Um, we don't like the negative on the bottom and that reduces, so I'm just gonna make this negative one over root three. Uh, or if you wanna rationalize the denominator, multiply this by root three, this by root three, and you end up with negative root three over three. This is done. I will continue with this lesson. There's more to it. So uh, tune, tune, tune up for uh, next session. Uh, I'll see you soon. Stay safe. Bye-bye.